Dolphin are probably would have to be one of the most common pelagic fishes in the world. They're found basically anywhere where you get surface temperatures above 70 degrees in, in clear oceanic water. They're also a very beautiful fish. They uh, have a variety of different color patterns, but it's all very, very vivid. Dolphin also happen to be one fish that you actually can tell males from females. They're sexually dimorphic. Males actually get larger than females, but in addition to that, they have a characteristic blunt forehead that allows you to really differentiate between males and females. Like all other fish, or animals in general really, they're meant to do two things, eat and reproduce. But in the case of dolphin, they do everything at an accelerated pace. Dolphin have to be one of the fastest growing fishes known to mankind. They've been recorded to grow as much as almost three inches per week. And a dolphin that spawned in a year, within its first year, can reach almost four feet and 40 pounds. So they grow extremely, extremely fast. As I said, males generally grow faster and get to larger sizes than uh, females. Females generally top out around 40 pounds, while males routinely exceed 60 pounds. They also reproduce at an incredibly young age. Uh, within just a few months, three months old, they may be reproducing. And that's a fish that's only 14 inches in length. So they're eating fast and reproducing at a very early age. Consequently, if you've got all that on your mind, you're probably not thinking about other things too much. And their natural mortality is quite high to boot. Uh, it's estimated that probably close to 99% of all dolphins that spawn in a given year die due to predators and, and other factors. They're a very short-lived species, three to four years max. Most of the fish that anglers are catching are probably year one fish or, or one year old and uh, a two-year-old fish is considered uh, very, very old. These fish move around a lot and they've been recorded to travel up to 800 miles within 10 days. You typically find dolphin in very clear offshore water. It doesn't have to be very far from shore, but anywhere you have deep, clear water. And they're often associated with floating material. Uh, natural stuff like sargassum lines that have a lot of natural bait and fishes there attract them, as well as things that have just been discarded off ships and trash even, uh, they'll be associated. When they're smaller, they generally congregate in big schools, but as they increase in size, they generally travel in increasingly smaller and smaller schools, and, and the very biggest males will generally be solitary. Dolphin, because they're found in so many different places, have a lot of different local colloquial names. Here in Florida, we call them dolphin. The west coast are called uh, dorado, which uh, alludes to their golden color. In Hawaii, they're mahi-mahi. Um, any place you find them, people have a different name, but they are all esteemed by anglers because they fight hard. They're beautiful fish and they taste really good too. There's two main ways that people generally fish for dolphin. One involves trolling, fairly high speed trolling with baits or generally um, artificial lures. The other is a run and gun where you may be scanning the ocean for debris on the surface or also looking for birds. Uh, frigate birds in general are a big clue that uh, you may have dolphin and big dolphin at that in the area. So anglers will generally switch up between those two different ways. If you find a school of small fish, generally speaking, you can keep them around the boat as long as you keep one fish in the water that's hooked. Uh, these fish are not very smart and once you hook one fish up, you can generally catch most of the fish in the school, which is in why it's important to be conservation-minded and only take what you need and throw the rest back in pretty good shape.